Bitch, you be on some hot boy. Like I told Tish, I see when I sh- and welcome back to the Roast Session Central. I'm the Nigerian Nemesis and in today's video we are going to be hopping right into the Bats Draft Challenge. We are sitting at 9 straight wins right now. It's been really easy. We've been roasting kids all the way up until this point. So let's hop right back into it. 9-0. See what we can do. We are definitely taking the Giant here. He is a better win condition. Musketeer is really good at stopping the Hound so we're taking the Musketeer. I would take poison, but we're going to go with bats here because he does have the hound and we need something in the air to stop it. And the bowler, of course, will be the better choice here. I never really like using mirror in these draft challenges because there isn't really a point. The mirror is a very specific card and you have to create a deck around it. But let's focus in here up against Miguel from CLAASD and see what we can do here. Try and perfect this challenge. He's going with the Hound. So we're going to go with a Royal Giant at the bridge. Force him to play something. Let's see how he decides to respond. Bandit's coming in hot. So we're going to drop our bats right here. Try and take out the Bandit. That's going to clean the Bandit up. He's going to send in arrows. So that's actually pretty good for me. We're going to have that plus one elixir trade right there. We're going to drop our Musketeer here in just a second. He does have that Princess. So let's play a Cheeky Musketeer in the center. Take down that Bandit. I was hoping the Musketeer aimed at the Princess. That would have been pretty sick. But the Musketeer is locked in on that Lava Hound, which is just fine by me. We are going to be able to take out that Lava Hound. And Musketeer is going to do some work on those pups as well. Giant's going down now. Try and distract that Princess. So our Musketeer has some time to start wailing on her. I've got my Zap ready for any sort of Skarmy that he may have. He's got nothing. Musketeer is now locked onto the tower. He's going to play a Giant Skeleton. And that's not going to do much for him. That's just going to be a waste of 6 Elixir. The Giant Skeleton is not going to do anything. Although we will have to focus in on it. On defense, we don't want that getting to our tower. So we are going to play this bowler now down in the center. That's going to slow down the giant skeleton relatively easy. Guards are going to stop that bandit. So we've got the direct counter for his bandit. The bandit's not going to be a problem here in this game. That bomb will blow up and take out that bowler almost down to 0 HP. And we've got our royal giant ready here for the royal giant cheese. This is why you must always choose the royal giant. I can't believe he just arrowed that. But I, this is why you always choose the Royal Giant because he just gets so much tower damage and he is so hard to stop. He's going to come in with the Witch. Very well played. That's going to clean up our bats there. And now we have this Royal Giant putting in good work. That's going to be five shots onto that tower. I'm assuming he's going to play the Lava Hound up in front. So we're going to get our Archers ready here in just a second. He's going to go with another Witch. Okay, so we're going to go Bowler here. Bowler's going to clean all that up. He's also going to play the Princess. So the Bowler is going to have a field day right here with all of his cards. Those Witches are going to go down. And the princess will fall in just a second. He's going back in with that bandit. Not going to be a problem. We have the guards. There is no chance he is ever getting through with the bandit. So now we're going to place our royal giant here in the center. Royal giant is going to go to town. He's going to play his giant skeleton once again. Larry is not going to do anything for him. Larry is just going to be a waste of time. Royal giant is still going to be popping off all those shots. And royal giant got his tower now down to 626. Bowler's coming in hot. He's got the witch and the double witch actually and the princess our bowler is still going to go to work we're going to just play our guards once again for that bandit and it looks like we're going to wrap this one up we are going to try and get as many crowns as we can though because we are in the middle of the crown chest for the clan so now we're going to place our giant down hopefully get a three crown i don't think it's going to happen there's only 10 seconds left here on the clock royal giant's doing its best bats are going to go down here and we're just going to secure this victory 2-0 i'm happy with that we've got our crown we're moving on to 10 and oh so we are doing so well here in this challenge if we can get to 12 and 0 that'd be awesome get some more bats i think that's 500 bats we do already have them unlocked so we can get so many bats from chest as you see here we are at 10 wins so we will be getting the giant chest let's see what this giant chest has to offer leave arena 11 giant chest 860 gold 10 wizards 89 minions 140 bats that's what i'm talking about and 48 heals that's awesome so let's go ahead Keep going right into this 10th win. Ooh, we're going to take, wow, that's a tough decision. Ice Golem or Log. I really don't want the Log, so we're going to go Ice Golem here. Giant by far. I never choose a Giant Skeleton. Poison and Bats once again. We're taking the Bats. I want cards, not spells. And we're just going to throw all these spells at him. I will be taking the Zap here just because I know that the Bats are directly countered by the Zap. And if we give him the Arrows, obviously the Arrows can still take out the Bats but for a negative one elixir trade. So now we have a very chippy deck. It's going to be tough. We do have that giant. So it's going to be like a giant miner cycle deck. He's going to start with a Larry there. So now we're going to go with our miner here in the back, right? Miner is going down. 
So that's going to do some work over there. I've got my zap ready, but he's not going to play anything. So we're going to go with our ice golem down here in the bottom left. Get our ice wizard ready and counter whatever he decides to support this giant skeleton with. He's going to go with a witch. Okay, so this is going to be pretty tough for us. And the graveyard. The bats will do so much work for this graveyard, but I do know that he has those arrows. So we're going to see what we can do here. I'm going to need this giant to distract the witch. Arrows finally come in hot. A little bit late, but those skeletons are still doing some work. He's hitting me with the thumbs up. He's feeling pretty confident about himself right now. And he's going to play that Skarmy. He's telling me oops and thumbs up. I love it. BM guy right here. We need to win this game because I love beating people that BM too early. That's got to be your goal. If you see someone BMing you like that, just don't, don't even mute them. I never mute them. I want to play them head on. And if I win this battle, I'm going to hit him with a crying face for days. So I'm waking, waiting for that moment to happen. Our miner is back here on this tower. Miner is going to town. He's just going to leave our miner alone. Once again, I'm fine with that. He's going with a giant skeleton. So now we're going to rush him at the bridge. With the giant, there is no way he has a direct counter for this play. So let's see what he does here. Unfortunately, we don't have our miner. He's going to play that dark goblin now. We're going to play our ice wizard here and not let him take this tower a little bit too easily. We've got our ice golem as well just to ensure that our ice wizard stays alive because that giant skeleton does do a lot of damage on his own. Believe it or not, he's just hard to get to the tower. He's going to go down there with a poison. So very decent poison there. We're going to play our miner on top of that dark goblin. Ice spirit's doing work. That giant skeleton looks like it's gotten to our tower. That bomb is going to go off and that's going to be the first tower. So I'm sure this guy's jumping with joy. He's hitting me with the crying face again. Angry face coming in hot. So we are definitely going to win this battle. I am feeling it. Giant is going down. Ice words are going down. I've got my zap for that Skarmy. So what are you going to do now? We've got that giant going towards the tower. Mine is going towards the tower. That's going to be tower guaranteed. He's sending in the log. That log is not going to do anything for him. So just like that, we have tied up this game and we are going to win this game. No chance I will lose to this guy. He does have this insane push going on. So we're going to have to play all of our cards and see if we can defend against this graveyard. Poison's coming in hot. So very aggressive play there. He's played like his entire 10 elixir bar. That will pay off for him. He's going to have our tower down to 11. 24 so very good stuff but check this out we are gonna go giant on the left side is he gonna defend it or is he, he's gonna come in hot with that giant skeleton all i'm saying is you better win this game in this push or we are gonna take you out here ice wizard going down in the center i dare him to play that graveyard that's gonna be a waste so now we have our zap going down on top of all that now we're gonna play our second giant he's gonna play a defensive graveyard so this man is very desperate we've got him on his back heels i'm sure he is worrying crying right now in his room, we're going to send our bats down. Two giants on that tower. We're going to zap the tower. Send all that away. Double giant. Double punch. That's going to take the tower. Let's hit him with the crying face all day long. Get out of here with all that. He's laughing, having a good time. Of course, Class Royale is just the game. We're all here to have some fun. So that was pretty awesome. We are now moving on to 11 and 0. So we are absolutely shredding this challenge. Hopping right back into it. Let's see if we can make this 12 and 0 perfect video with zap and bats obviously the zap is a direct counter so we're gonna take the zap we did take the zap i'm definitely taking the sparky here i could have given it to him but i'm not gonna risk that sparky is way too good for that so we are gonna take i always get this choice with the mini peck and elite barbs we're definitely taking elite barbs and actually although the giant is a better win condition i'm gonna take the lava hound here because we have the elite barbs we have the sparky two very good ground attacking troops Right now, as far as I know, the only air attacking troop he has is the Bass, and we have the Zap counter for that. So we will be having our Lava Hound for our win condition in this battle up against Marilo from Boy. Actually, that's 901. My bad, not Boy. So we're going to start with an Ice. Okay, so he's going to bring the Giant. So yeah, let's go Ice Wizard here in the back left. And now we can play our direct counter with the Sparky. No way he's going to support. I'm expecting something to come there on the right-hand side. So let's see what he decides to play here. Is he actually, okay, so he's going to go Lumberjack and Balloon. So that's very, very crazy. That's going to be a tough push to stop. Hopefully the Witch doesn't die. Witch won't die. That Balloon is 100% going to get two shots off, off onto that tower because of the Raid spell. As you can see, we still have our Sparky going up, but now we've got the Sparky on the left side. So we're going E-Barbs here on the right side. e barb supported by Witch, and he can't ignore the Sparky. So which one is he going to choose? He has an E-Wiz. If he didn't have that E-Wiz... This game would have been done just like that. But we still have the E-Barbs going to town on that right-hand tower. And that tower is long gone just like that. I will send this Zap here. I don't want to take too much damage on our left-hand side. He's going to have to respond to all that. He's going to play his Bats. Bats not going to be enough. Bats are just going to fall to this tower here. That tower is down to 666. Oh, yeah. That's what I like to see. And now we have a minute and 40 seconds left in this battle. I want him to play that Giant. Definitely don't want to play something and regret it. But we're going to go Lava Hound here on the left-hand side. 
I'm expecting him, yeah, so he's gonna send the balloon in. We're gonna ignore that balloon. I have the tower. Tower is down anyways. Even if I tried to defend it, it would still go down, so I'm not gonna waste any elixir on that side here. Instead, we're gonna focus in on the left-hand side. We've got our ice wizard going down to support this lava hound, and now we're gonna get ready to send in our e-barbs. Okay, so e-barbs are gonna go down here and shred his giant really quickly, and once they're done, they're gonna go back on offense, and this guy's gonna have his hands full for sure, we've got our fireball for some excellent fireball value going down here. Archers are down. Ewiz is down to 1 HP. That barbarian's gonna slash him. Now we've got two barbs on the tower. Decent log, but he missed one of the barbarians. That's gonna be the second tower of the game. Just like that, we are up two towers to zero. We've gotta be careful though. He does have that balloon and the lumberjack. So I'm kinda iffy here. We're gonna play our witch to the left, but I'm gonna play my ice wizard to the right just to make sure. I don't want him to sneak in here with anything cheeky and take this battle away from us. Take away our perfect 12 wins. So now we're going to go Sparky here on the left side. He's actually going to go Giant Balloon here on the left. Very surprising play. I did not expect him to play all this here on the left-hand side. Because even if he does take that tower, we're going to push back for an insane three-crown push. So look at this. We've got our Sparky. We've got our Witch. Ice Wizard is there on the right side doing his own thing. We're going to drop our, our Lava Hound. Like I said, we are going for crowns here. Right now, we could have this secured. Offense is the best defense. Let's see if he's going to defend this. I think he will. He knows that clan chest is up. He's going to go with an E-Wiz right on top of our Sparky. We're going to drop our Witch. Try and get this three crown in the bag. Not too mad about it. I don't think we're going to get the three crown. But just like that, we are going to go 12 and 0 in the Bats Draft Challenge. So we are going to take home all those Bats. That is very exciting. First try in on my free entry. Didn't even need to spend 100 gems on this challenge. So that's very good for us. Right here, 12 wins going down. That's going to give us 11,000 gold, 550 cards in that chest, and of course right here, 500 bats. That's why we were playing this challenge in the first place. So that's up to 690, and now we're going to pop up in this chest. We're going to take them some gold, wizards, cannons, bomberman, 11 musketeers, 104 zaps, 105 goblins, 183 mortars, some dark goblins, and 6 dark princes. Yes, I love the dark prince. We also have that crown chest up, so let's pop that open here right quick. Three gems, a one heal, 34 bats, some more bats. Yes, Ice Spirit, Tombstone. And of course, I have these two magical chests, but I'm holding on to it for just a little bit longer because I am waiting for two more chests. I think I have an, uh, an epic chest and a giant chest. Something's coming along here, and we will wait for that to happen so we can do a chest opening. But if you guys did enjoy the video, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button for some more future daily Clash Royale and Clash of Clans content. I hope you guys go on and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace!